Hello artists, once you're done making your lines in all of your different spaces, now it's time to think about, is there a fun material in your house that you could use to recreate some of these lines? Maybe like Play-Doh, or you could ask permission from an adult to get some food pieces, or even your crayons could work too. So let's start out with Play-Doh. If you have Play-Doh, a chunk, a small chunk. And then here's what I like to do. I like to squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it into a hot dog shape. I'm just squeezing it back and forth and I'm kind of closing it up in my hand like that until it's kind of like in a hot dog shape. Then I can put it down on the table and I can make flat high five hands. If you high five someone, it's not like this, right? You have to keep your hand flat and keep it stiff. So I'm going to take my fingertips and I'm going to press down as I roll forward all the way to my wrist. And then I'm going to pull it back to my tips. And then I'm looking, okay, it's a little bit thicker here and thinner here. So I'm going to move my hand over and roll it again and just keep rolling it until it makes itself into a coil or a long line like this. Now I can use my Play-Doh to make some of the lines. So I can make a zigzag line like this. And I can stop and take a picture with my iPad if I want to. Or I can take it back and I can turn it into um, a wavy line where it's kind of rounded like this. And you can even do a scallop where it kind of comes to a point. So you can play around with your Play-Doh to make some different lines. When you're all done, make sure that you make a ball and you vacuum up all the small pieces. That's part of being an artist is cleaning up after ourselves. So vacuum up all the pieces, make sure there's none left. Look on the ground, make sure none of them down on the ground. Put it back in the bag or in the container and make sure that you close it. If you want to use food pieces, maybe you could use these to make some dotted lines. Right? That could be fun. Take a picture with your iPad, like that. Or maybe you could make a dash line if you put some together. Right? Like that. Um, you could use your crayons too, if you wanted to. Make that into a zigzag. Right? Or you can make it into a straight line. So use these fun materials around your house to make different lines. Take pictures with your iPad. Have fun!